Okay, I'm testing the exciter coil, also known as the source ignition coil for the ignition system source with my uh, peak volt meter here, peak volt tester ignition mate. And the book says it should be 34 volts DC, the blue and red wire. That's the exciter energy coil to energize the ignition system to the CDI box. There's the connectors. So we should be hitting 34 about right there on the bolt, peak bolt test. And this is what we're getting. Getting about 13. Should be up here around 34 and we're getting 13 between 12 and 14. So uh, the ignition source exciter coil is bad. Okay, now I'm gonna take a reading on the uh, ignition trigger pulser, which is the red, white, and white wire, which should be 3.3 DC volts. I'm hooked up to the red and red white wire there. So that should be, we'll use a 10 scale. It should be right around here, 3.3 volts, just above the three bolt line right there on the 10, on the 10 scale right there. And put that on the 10 scale. reading high reading it like almost seven it should be down here at like three so the ignition pulser trigger is also bad it's not within limits could be causing some of these intermittent problems not the stalling and reverse problem but the other hesitation and poor running problem so on this 2001 Polaris Magnum 325 uh, it's got some intermittent electrical problems going on. It's got a miss coming off of acceleration, which acts like carburation, but it is not it's electrical. We've isolated that to the ignition pulser being bad and also the ignition source uh, being bad on the st in the stator by doing a peak voltage test. For further diagnostics, I have installed a toggle switch here that simply bypasses the uh, kill from all switches going to the CDI box. So when you flip this, it disconnects anything that could possibly kill the ignition system, uh, including the key switch, which could have an intermittent connection inside, the kill button, which could have intermittent connection inside, uh, the reverse uh, switch and the uh, uh, reverse speed li limitations and all those different giz gizmos and gadgets in this thing that can cause it to kill it and uh, including the, uh, the throttle safety switch in here it's all bypassed every one of them when you flip this switch nothing will kill the kill the engine so it's a way of isolating to find a problem and we're gonna go take it for a ride now with uh, all those switches unhooked no way to turn the engine off at all until I flip that back 